All right guys, in this video, we're giving the beginner some love. You guys have been asking me for a body weight video or a body weight workout for true beginners, and here it is. All you need here is a mat, a little bit of space, and we're gonna roll through it. Every exercise we do is gonna be anywhere between 10 and 12 repetitions. Anything that is timed is gonna be no longer than 30 seconds. So you basically have not too much of a stimulus, but enough to get a good sweat on. You're gonna have an appropriate amount of rest time in between sets. I'll show you what that is as you go through the video. So you have lots of time to prepare for your next movement. So focus on what you're doing. Stay focused, stay dialed in. Let's get it done. And I will see you at the end of the workout. All right, guys, warm up. Six minutes, walking, light jog, stationary bike, or skipping. Pick anything for six minutes before we get into it. Now for set one, we're gonna work squat holds. You're gonna hit a kneeling plank, a dead bug, and single leg rockers. But first up, let's hit your squats. Hold it, 30 seconds. Now your deal here is to push your knees out, find a position that works for you, push those toes into the floor, the big toes into the floor. Squeeze your quads, think about dropping your hips, just below your knees and hold the position. If you can't go that low, Stay as low as you can without any pain and hold it. Already, first exercise almost done. All right, nice. Next up, we're gonna move right into a plank position. So get down to the mat and get into a, a kneeling plank. So half plank, you'll see me do these quite often actually. Elbows and knees. Let's get, let's get it. Again, pull your knees into the floor. Pull your elbows into the floor and pull them together. Give me a neutral spine. Squeeze your bum, squeeze your quads, squeeze your biceps, and pull everything together using your core. Hold it, 30 seconds. Keep your breathing tight. Squeeze your glutes, squeeze your core. Knees and elbows pulling together through the floor. Next up, we're moving into dead bugs. So flip over to your back. Bring your knees up just past your hips. Place your palms just below your kneecaps on your quadriceps. And let's extend the right hand back and the right leg out, keeping all the tension between your left hand and your left knee while you do that. We have 10 reps. I'm showing you a modified version now where you can tap the toe down and just bring the thumb back a little bit closer to your head. If the first version is too hard, guys, you can modify it. All right, give me those 10 reps. And I want you to think about this. As you kick the leg out, I want more core contraction. So flex really hard as that leg goes out, flex hard, flex really hard. Flex hard. When I say flex hard, I mean your core. Flex really hard. Keep the left knee and the left hand still. All right, now switch sides. Do the same thing on the other side. Remember, you want to keep your spine, your, your pelvis neutral. And you're doing that by flexing your core as you extend your lever. So as you extend your leg out and your hand back, you're flexing your abs aggressively so you can maintain a nice neutral uh, spine, so that nice neutral pelvis, all right? Think about that, so flex really hard, flex hard, bring it back. Flex really hard, again, your core, bring it back. Right hand, right knee connected with tons of tension as you extend those levers back, last one. All right, next up, move into a push-up position. Here, you're gonna go into a full push-up position. And you're gonna push back on one leg while supporting all your weight on that loaded leg. So it looks like this. First, bring your hands in behind your armpits or bring them back towards your knees. Extend your legs out and then pick a side. Raise the opposite side and load the foot that's on the floor by pushing back what well, looks like a single leg step up. So as you see, as I'm pushing my bum back to my calf, my opposite foot's touching at the end of the range and I'm squatting down a little bit further. And I want you to pull up 
with your abs and your shoulders and your quad obviously on the loaded side so as you step back here touches squat come back up flex maintain a neutral spine flex your quad flex your abs flex your shoulders hold it and reset back hold it and then reset back get going Work on your arms, your hands, loosen them up, and then go to the other side. Go get it. Squeeze and pull. Contract your quadricep and glute on that loaded side. Squeeze and pull with your abs. So my left leg is flexed. Core, shoulders tight. Give me 10 reps. Almost there. This is your last one. All right, good work, crew. Let's do that whole set one more time. So the first thing you're gonna do after this little rest is I want you to go back into your squat position. And you're gonna hit that again. Remember in your, big, in your beginner body weight workout, Sometimes the small things will get you more than you realize, so go through it, see how it works for you, and then you know you can add a little bit of time here and there, you can add a few more reps here and there as you get used to it, and eventually add weights, all right? Let's go, squat first, 30 seconds, hold position, push the knees away from your body, big toes down, breathe, and hold it. You can cross your arms if you prefer, Sometimes I get clients to do this just to show them if their chest is leaning forward or back. You know, see me, I'm telling you to point your, push your toes into the floor and push your weight through your midfoot while you're holding that position and decide what arm position works for you best. All right, bring it up. Let's head to the mat again. Let's get back into your kneeling plank. You know what to do. Squeeze your biceps. Squeeze your core, squeeze your glutes, squeeze your quads, pull the floor together in between your knees and your elbows. This one's about 20, 25 seconds. Again, squeeze really hard, guys. Breathe and squeeze, get that core to light up. You'll feel these again. It'll surprise you. You'll feel these. Beautiful. Flip it around. Let's head to your dead bugs. Remember, think about your, your lower back, your lumbar spine staying neutral. So it's a slight curve in your lower back as you extend those levers back one side at a time for 10 reps. All right. Flex your abs, get into position. The longer the lever, the more core stiffness you need. 10 per side, go get it. All right, we're gonna switch sides right here, same deal, and go. Breathing strong. Remember, keep that opposite knee and hand exactly where it's at in space. 
flex your core hard to keep it steady as possible. If you don't have the shoulder mobility to go back all the way, then just make it go short. That's totally, that's all good. It doesn't matter. Work on your mobility till you get that full range. And if you don't have it in the meantime, just shorten it up a little bit. All right. Let's go back into your rockers. Pick a side, 10 and 10. Load that ankle and hip. And then the opposite leg goes back. Reach back into like a single leg reverse lunge almost in a prone position. And pull, abs, quad, shoulder. So as you go back, my foot touches. I continue to squat back, raise it, and pull. Go back, foot touches, keep pushing back, raise it, and pull. 10 and 10. Okay, if you have to shake your wrists out between sides, that's cool. So shake them out, get ready, and go back into 10 reps on the opposite side. Nicely done, crew. We have a little bit of a rest here. You're going to move on to your second set. All right, rest one minute. We'll move on to your second set. And here we're going to work some reverse lunges. We're going to get into your shoulders, working some cobras for your scapula, medial trap. We're going to work some lateral raises shoulder presses and guess what there's absolutely no weights involved in this it's all about you squeezing finding the muscle fibers making that mind muscle connection and going from there and like i said when you go through this and you want to add light weight you'll be surprised what even five pounds will do to your shoulders with these movements so prepare for that we are almost there so what i want you to do is Right about now, get into a position where you can do reverse lunges, where you're going to obviously go into an athletic stance and you're going to step behind you and go back to that neutral position and repeat that for 12 total reps, okay? So in this set, like I mentioned, we have, we have reverse lunges, cobras, lateral raises, shoulder presses. You'll get into kneeling push-ups and into a full plank. First up, reverse lunge, 12 reps, go. Let the front knee collapse a little bit and then let your torso lean forward just a little bit as you go back. Again, big toe into the ground in front of you. And that loaded leg, try to recruit fibers to help you stand. Don't just move, recruit. Cobra, so palms up to the ceiling, squeeze your shoulder blades. Here's a better view right here, 12 reps. Shoulder blades, shoulder blades, there you go. That's what you want to think about. So keep the same technique. If you want to see for the rear view, same technique every time. Squeeze your shoulder blades. Don't use your upper traps. It's a great way for you to disassociate upper trap and medial trap. Lateral raises, no weights, 12 reps, go. Alternating. I want you to squeeze your arms here, squeeze your shoulders. Pull your arms back a little bit. Going to presses, again, fire 
up your shoulders. Fire them up. Deltoids, fire them. All right, you're gonna rest 20 seconds, and just like that, we're gonna do it again. Okay, let's go. Reverse lunges. Second time, second time around. Go get it. Give me 12 total, alternating. You can see here, I'm just have a little slight lean forward, pulling off that front leg. Recruiting as I'm standing, get my fibers to fire in that front leg. Using my abs to help assist. Cobras, 12 reps, medial traps, keep that, keep your head in a strong position, don't look too high up, don't look too far down, keep it neutral. This set's a little bit slower. It's better, it's often better to do these ones slow than fast for sure. Lateral raises, alternating 12, go for it. Squeeze your shoulders. You can squeeze your triceps a little bit as well. Shoulder presses, 12 reps. Not all the way. Squeeze, as if you have cables or weights in your hands, squeeze. All right, kneeling push-ups here. Three at a time for 12. Go, one, two, three. Hold for a second. Go again. One, two, Three, hold for a second. Go again. One, two, three, hold for a second. Go again. One, two, three, hold for a second. And one more. One, two, and three, nice. Go right into a full plank for 30 seconds. Hold it. All right, guys, we're almost there. Then we're gonna move into your final sets. So here, coming up, after you get your 45 seconds of rest, you're gonna be working single leg deadlifts. No weights, you can use weights if you want, but I suggest lighter ones if you are a true beginner, of course. If you are doing this, this workout and you're fairly advanced with your fitness stuff, grab a couple dumbbells, something fairly heavy because you're doing six and six. So you can, you know, you can manage quite a bit of weight on this if you prefer. here too is once you get into your your movement stuff so your little your light plyos is you just go for it get your heart rate up a little bit and then just take a little bit of rest and go again um you know you're already 20 minutes into your workout so we're getting near the end so do what you can to get it done so set number three is single leg deadlifts as i mentioned we have double touch skaters and mountain climbers 30 seconds 30 seconds six reps for your single leg deadlifts which are coming up next all right, get some space, hip hinge. Now, you'll see a different couple hand positions. 
you can put your hands wherever you want as you go through your six reps. You know, kind of work a speed that you're comfortable with. Obviously, if you are a true beginner, slower is definitely better. So you feel the hamstring and hip work properly. So you, you know, you can hinge properly. So we switch sides. So again, it's important to keep nice, strong form. That back leg is nice and stiff and hinging off that front hip. All right, guys, coming up next, your double touch skaters. 30 seconds, get ready. It goes tap, tap, stick, tap, tap, stick, go. One, two, one, one, two, one. That back foot, you can see it's not touching the floor as it comes across. Just get used to the movement and we'll crush it a little bit faster as we go through it. Now, as always, if you're a little more advanced, speed, is beautiful so get that speed going if you're more advanced or you just want to push a little harder and we're going to move into mountain climbers next for 30 seconds all right let's get into those climbers ready need an elbow go boom 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 there you go follow that rhythm 30 seconds strong with your shoulders core is tight move Give me 10 seconds. Three, two, one, nicely done. We have a little bit of a rest and we'll go through your final sets. All right, so 30 seconds, move into your final set. Now with this one, as we go through the whole thing again, you should be a little more comfortable with the movements. Let's get those SLDLs, those single leg deadlifts nailed down, your double touch skaters and your mountain climbers. First up, single leg deads, one side, six reps. Go get it. And you'll see, I prefer my arms in the back. A little more shoulder extension. It just allows me to keep a, a little straighter line and it makes it a little bit harder, to be honest. You want to make sure your hips sit in a nice neutral position. They're not opening up too much or closing too much. Keep your knees slightly bent and hinge around that. Switch sides. Really strong, fluid. Just a couple reps left, left, and then we have your last two exercises in your body weight workouts. All right, guys, moving those double touch skaters right away and go. Move your feet a little bit faster this set. One, two, one, one, two, one. One, two, one, or ta ta stick, tap, tap, stick, whatever works for you in terms of count. All right, guys, we got mountain climbers coming up right here. Let's crush these out. This is your last exercise. Ready, go. You should be moving a little bit faster this set. Last exercise, we always finish strong. 15 seconds, come on. Almost there. Two. 
two, one, and done. Go work, guys. All right, guys, I hope you liked the video. As always, like, subscribe, share, tell me what you thought of the video. We're working our way up to 100,000 subscribers, slowly climbing that ladder. And again, I'm always about giving you guys the content that you ask for, so let me know what it is and I'll try to get it done. Of course, at the end, give that sub button a bump and uh, subscribe to my channel for all the latest updates coming out. And as always, check out my other videos. There's tons of stuff up there for you guys to check out from boxing, fitness, tutorials, even some nutrition advice coming up for you really soon. Um, everything you need to get you where you gotta be, all right? Thanks for watching. We'll see you for your next workout. Talk to you soon.